love it, dude. The top speed, the top, the the top H plus H plus is satisfying. It's very it? satisfying. It's <laughs> almost just as good as a DIY board, man. Like that's that's and a lot for me to say. And no, the brakes didn't really. No, no, no. The brakes didn't surprise they me. They didn't change you or anything. No, no, no. Exactly. The the curve's nice. The the curve for the brake and the acceleration's nice. Obviously, when you're in the top mode, you're gonna kind of feel like a little of a jump. But why wouldn't you? It's top mode. But it's yeah. not because it's tuned wrong. Mm -hmm. Let's go ride some more. This <laughs> What's up, e skaters? It's Neil with Big Kids, and on this channel, we talk about DIY tips, vendors, and the electric skateboard community. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to see more videos just like this one. And don't forget to check the show notes below for any notes or links that I leave in the description. In this video, I'm gonna be doing a first impressions of the Windboard Panther, and with me here, I have Mike with Windboard. You might actually know him from e Skate Squad uh, and all throughout the community. <laughs> now let's get to the video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, <laughs> I'm on the M setting right now. M or H? I'm on the H setting right now, which is high. Yeah. There's All one that's right. higher. There's one that's higher, so let's see. Nice break, right? Nice breaks. Nice break. Solid. Real brakes. Okay, so I'm back from my ride with the Windboard Panther, and with the limited time that I had with the board, here are some of my thoughts. I honestly was a bit skeptical, it just thought it might be a budget board hyped up to be the next best thing, but this board is actually seriously awesome. So the deck is 9 ply maple, uh, and it has 37 and a half inches long by 8.6 inches wide, and the length and the width to me were just right. The materials and the size of the board were a perfect match for the speeds that the 1500 watt dual hub motors were capable of. So on my ride with Michael, there was a moment I was like just shy of 28 miles per hour. And coming from the DIY space, I'm used to speeds like this, but find that many production boards stay around 22 to 23 miles per hour at top speed. So the tie top speed coming from the Panther was an awesome surprise. The Panther has four ride modes, slow, medium, high, and high plus. A lot of the times that me and Michael were out riding, I was only on high, but that extra thrill from high plus is short of underwhelming. The Panther also comes with a set of 90mm flywheel style longboard wheels with a 76A Duro. And for me, this is a sweet spot. It's not too small that my top speed is sacrificed, but not too big where it adds like extra weight and bulk to the board. Going downhill, I felt zero to no resistance and it comes with genuine red bone bearings. 
Breaking on the Panther was freaking exceptional. Many reviewers think that ESCs from China are all the same, but obviously Windboard took the care to focus on smooth braking. When I was going fast, I didn't feel like I had to like brace myself uh, when I was going to brake. Windboard has two great options for batteries. The standard option is the 10S 3P 36 volt 90 amp hour lithium ion pack. And the second option is the same but 10 and a half amp hour battery pack. Both are really good options and have an advertised range of 20 miles per hour. And because the battery pack is better than your standard budget board, I feel like when I was going up hills, I went up with ease and some extra speed. The remote fits nicely in the hand and connects to the ESC via the 2.4 GHz frequency. The LCD screen on the remote displays an awesome amount of information. From the remote, I'm able to see the current battery levels of both the board and the remote, the speed that I'm traveling at in kilometers, the speed mode that I'm in, and my, tri my trip distance, and my total distance. This feature has got me spoiled and I don't think I ever want a remote without an LCD. Overall, I'm pleasantly surprised with the Windboard Panther. It's fast, it's a stable board, I never felt like I had to adjust or upgrade anything, and for the speed junkies, this is a really fast production board. All these features are an awesome value for the price. Right now, the board is going for $749, including shipping, and I've left a link below for you guys to check out for yourself. So honestly, if you guys are in the market for an electric skateboard, this is a board you don't want to sleep on. If you've rode or purchased the Panther, let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you'd really like, share it to your social media, that help a lot. Again, this is Neil with Bickets, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace! Um, I have Mike. Shit. That's not my last name. <laughs> Here he is. <laughs> now let's go ride the panther. That was alright.